first though, Kevin Nisbet. So there's interest in him down south, Millwall, reported to be about £2 million, Barry. Uh, what do you make of that if he does go to Millwall, around £2 million? Well, it would be a great signing for Millwall, but it baffles me why Rangers are Celtic. Um, um, I, I, I was going to say a risk or a gamble, you know, even that. I think he's good enough to play for either the old firm and I'm surprised that there's been no contact. Look, there's still a few days left to the window. There's still six days. Um, but we've seen it in the past when good young players go for a couple of million pounds, which I think they're, they're worth that. And they go, like my, my nephew Lewis, away to Bologna, Doig away to Italy as well, Hickey before that. Lyndon Dykes is a, a different example. He's no, yeah. obviously, he plays with Scotland, sure. but um, yeah. he's, he has uh, he come in late to Queen of the South and play with Livingston. Yeah. And I like to see these young guys being kept in, in Scotland. I know eventually they will move to the bigger leagues, mm -hmm. but for me, Kevin Nisbet, at £2 million, which the reports are that that's what Millwall were prepared to pay, we don't know if Hibs are going to do business, I'm taking them all day long. Why do you think they don't come in, Scottish Celtic or Rangers don't come in for, by and large, for Scottish strike? They have in the past. It depends. Well, the price goes right up. Celtic phone Hibs or Rangers phone Hibs, you know what the price is going to, don't you, right away. The English teams, as I said to you before, the amount of money they get mm. is phenomenal. And it's value for money, the manager probably looking at it. You look at Celtic saying, how do you say his name? I don't know how you say the boy, young yep. boy's yeah. name. Hyun Gyu O. Well, yep. if he's two and a half million yep. pound and Hibs are asking for four or five million from Celtic, you can see the reason why that doesn't happen. We said in the summer about young Ferguson, mm. about young Doig, both of them, when Celtic were looking for midfielders or Rangers were looking for midfielders or left-backs, definitely Rangers were looking for left-back. Yeah. But Doig, you know what I mean? You're thinking all day long, you know, yeah. all day long. And uh, as I say, there must be a reason why, mm -hmm. you know, whether they get priced out of the market, what they're looking for. But it's not down to the boys' talent. And you, you've got to say the same with Nisbet. Nisbet's been excellent because people question when he got released with Thistle, they say, didn't he work hard enough and all this sort of thing. At Wraith Rovers was the same. His professionalism wasn't the greatest. And with some of the guys I spoke to, I didn't know him, so it'd be very wrong for me to say that. But that's what I used to get told with people because I used to say, why? Why has he not been picked up? You know? And they said that. But for Dunfermline, to has been on. He's had his injury and he's come back. But he looks in much better shape even since he's come back from his yeah. injury. It looks as if he's been working really hard during that nine months. So that tells me enough. You can see his body shape's completely different and he's getting his benefit with his goals and a team that's been struggling. And he's been it's a good job he's been back because he's been the one that's been banging the goals yeah. in. So no, it's the ideal time for him. Mm -hmm. Now it puts pressure on Hibs. Uh, do they cash in now or do they wait till the summer and get less money when everybody they want to take, change their, 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 their squad over? Yeah. All these sort of things. So, of course, Martin Boyle injured. Absolutely. But it is baffling, isn't it? Yeah, it, I mean, the biggest thing for me, Grant, I mentioned it, it looks to me if he's physically matured now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, before his, his injury, maybe he get pushed off the ball at, at times. But for me, he's got everything in the locker, Kevin Nisbet. And whether Hibs don't want to do deals with Rangers or Celtic, I, I don't know. But if I'm at Rangers, I'm really interested I'm wanting to try and do business well, look at the successful ones yeah the Rangers going for, to Hibs if he Hibs to Rangers sorry if he Hibs to Celtic Scott Brown yeah. you Thompson's yeah, sure. all these you name them all you can go through time and time again maybe they don't want that to happen as much I don't mm. know maybe because in the same well, I, go back. I, I yeah. go back Rangers have always had guys we mentioned it before Billy Dodds yeah. Boydie Stephen uh, Stephen Whitaker mm -hmm. yeah from Hibs of course yeah Kenny, Kenny Muller yep who else is a big Stephen Thompson? Mm -hmm. Kevin and Thompson, you said Stephen, that, Na yeah. Stephen Naismith, yeah. Yeah. I, I meant as a as a forward, no right. Whitaker. Sure. So Rangers have, have been in the past, went and got strikers from oh, other strikers. clubs and brought them in and they've scored goals for Rangers and they've been really good Rangers players. And I don't know why they're, they're not looking to try and um, do that. I get mixed up with Stephen. I say Stephen Whitaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. so many names. Of, <laughs> I know. It's because yeah, yeah. yeah. Rangers are after the boy yeah. for Swansea. But Stephen Naismith, sure. Boydie, Billy Dodds, Kenny Miller, Stephen Thompson, guys like that have mm -hmm. come in to Rangers and scored goals and been really good Rangers players. And Celtic, of course, Scott McDonald. You named them. Really oh. so, maybe, is it not fashionable now, maybe? But you look at Brian McClare. Yeah. You go back as far sure. as Brian, you know, you go back even Alan McAnally, mm -hmm. you know, Air United, wasn't yeah. it? Alan came yeah. from, you know. So you'd all, but you can show years and years. He played in Germany, you know. Uh, yeah, after that. <laughs> you tell him every day. Yeah. 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 He never talks about it. Who Munchen. They played with the Munchen. Munchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it frustrates me because... Oh, brilliant. I think 
in terms of Kevin Nisbet, I think if he's at that price, two million or two and a half million pound, I think it's a snip. 